Cinder is the newest game from a company known as Wildworks. You may know them from some of their previous games, but today I'm only going to be talking about Cinder. So what is Cinder? Cinder is a game where you play as your own NFT called a Fae. You can purchase these Fae using the cryptocurrency known as Solana. Right now there's only Genesis Fae in the game, but they're releasing a new Fae called, I'm pretty sure the Imp Fae, if I'm not wrong, but we're going to get access to these sometimes by the end of April. And if you bought a Genesis Fae, you've already received a creator token, which will let you get your own Imp Fae for free. Also, in the white papers, they mentioned a second creator token drop, so if you end up buying an Infe in this new drop, you will receive a creator token for what seems like a second Infe or possibly even a new type of Fe. I'll talk more on how Fe affect gameplay later. Now, there's a common misconception going around that NFTs are bad for the environment because of their association with crypto. I'm going to try my best to explain cryptocurrencies, but they are really complicated, so I'm going to do my best. From like a basic standpoint, if you do want to understand them a little bit better, I'll leave some links in the description where you can learn more about them. Every cryptocurrency uses something called blockchain. It's just a public history of data that can be updated and validated by miners. These miners in most popular crypto will come in the form of proof of work, meaning a computer does a puzzle for the right to add info to the blockchain for a reward. This is why crypto is seen as bad for the environment, because people buy computers solely for the purposes of mining. It drains electricity and takes resources from more important subjects. Luckily, this is where coins like Solana come in. Solana is a proof of stake, meaning the next person to add info to the blockchain has to put money on the line for a chance to do so. This cuts out all of the expensive rigs and machines people use for mining and uses much less electricity. Again, don't take any of this in absolute truth, I'm being incredibly vague, I encourage you to do your own research on proof of work and proof of service before deciding for yourself what you think is best. So now we know what Cinder is, but not what you can do in the game. As of right now, there isn't much, but I'll go through them really quick. There's the crown game. This game is about holding the crown for as long as possible, be that by hiding in little holes or going somewhere where no one else knows how to get to. They also have chickens. I don't know if they're technically a game. They're pretty much just feathery soccer balls, but I guess you can kick them around and that's kind of fun. Another thing to do in the game is called cocktail hour. It happens every day at five. Basically everyone gathers in the parlor and at 5.15 a random person in the lobby is chosen to reuse 0.5 soul, that being Solana. I don't think this will last forever, but as of right now, it's been nice. And finally, there's the AMAs, which are Ask Me Anythings. It always happens every Friday and is a chance to speak with devs about the future of Cinder. And for right now, that's pretty much it. The game has a lot of exciting plans for the future though, and if you read their white pages, which I'll also link in the description, they're going to add these things called Daishos, which are basically like little Pokemon creatures that you can capture in the wild. You can either take your captured Daisho and train them for PvP battles, or you can disassemble them at the Reduction of Irridan's Department, or RID for short. If you do take them to the RID, you'll get a reward in the form of Ash, which is basically just the currency of the game. Here's a picture they include from the white page. They do mention wanting to include the ability to transfer Ash into another crypto. Along with Ash, there's also another currency known as Ember. It seems kind of like the premium currency, kind of like the gems of a game. If coins are Ash, then Ember is gems. On the topic of Ash, Fae currently have three, quote, secret stats. Um, each one of them improves the player's ability to collect Ash in-game. I'm pretty sure these stats are only for Genesis Fae, and hopefully we'll see some different ones with the Imp Fae's, but overall, they're pretty cool. Here they are on screen. Daisho Combat is probably the most documented thing in the white pages, but basically, Daishos are little pets you can battle. If you've ever played Pokemon Go, it's pretty similar to that in the sense that if you capture a Daisho, you can either turn it into currency or train it for battle. To battle another player, you must have a squad of three Daisho at least. These battles go on until one Daisho's power core runs out of energy. Power cores are kind of like the heart of a Daisho. They determine what type of Daisho it is and also how strong the Daisho is. Power cores must be charged with Ash and will require more Ash for more stronger cores. Daisho cores can also get a boost with Daisho parts. Daisho parts can either grant a new attack or provide better stats to the Daisho. Certain core and part combinations can grant special attacks or stat modifications. Using specific Daisho together in combat can also improve performance. And there are six types of Daisho which I'll show on screen right now. These include solar, magnetic, biomass, wind, hydroelectric, and geothermal. These interact with each other in different ways that are too complicated to talk about in this video, but if you're interested, here's a sheet explaining it. So, should you buy a fit? Personally, it's up to you. If you get a fit right now, your chances of earning more down the road is a lot higher, so it's kind of like an investment, but it's not a cheap investment. Uh, the lowest I saw, um, like listed right now, it's at 0.5 sol, which is like 70 USD, and that's the cheapest one on the website. So, if you're not sure, 
No shame in waiting. But if you are interested in purchasing a fae, but aren't completely sure on how to, you can follow the link in my description to Xenia's channel. She has a really good guide on there. Still want updates and an inside look of what new content Cinder will add? I plan on making videos like this in the future, so if that's what you're looking for, go ahead and subscribe.